I'll show you how that touchscreen works. Very simple and it's amazing. If you touch anywhere on the screen, it changes things. Now if you look at the right side, there's a orange bar with choices for sonar. That means that's the active window. I touch the left side, which is the chart side. That becomes the active window. The orange bar, it surrounds that. And you now have choices for the map menu on the right. Touch the screen anywhere, and you get a cursor. Touch it at the top, you get a cursor. Touch and drag, and you move the map. Left, right, anywhere you want. Touch clear a cursor, and you exit out. Same thing on the sonar side. I'm going to change the active window by touching that side. You'll notice there's a little hand in the middle. That is going to be, that's your finger. Now, I'm going to touch it on the right side and a cursor will pop up. So if you had fish right below the boat, you look in the left lower corner, 43, 49, 55, that's telling you the boat is moving away from where that cursor is. The cursor's over the fish. Now the fish are 100 feet from you. If you've ever wondered when you drive over fish how far that fish is behind you, all you have to do is place the cursor on it. Lawrence also has a preview bar. You notice at the very top, that's all the history that you can look at at the very top. So if you grab that blue just by touching and dragging it, you can look through all of the history. Clear the cursor. Other things is that there are some hidden menus. If I touch those little four bars at the top and drag them down, you get to see that second menu, which you go in the settings. Now let's just test it. I'll adjust splits. I'll touch it. We get the um, arrows in the middle. I'm going to drag that to the left, and that's where I'm going to have the new split screen. Touch save, and you now change that. If you don't want to look at your menus, you want more screen space, all you have to do is touch it and drag it to the right, and it's gone. If you want it back again, you just touch menu at the top. Other tricks are in pages. So when you have it set up, which I'm not going to talk about, but you can set up different favorite choices you have for split screens. Let's say I already have these set up and I just touch that, bingo, I get that uh, chart and sonar. Touch the pages button again. It, there is, um, you can see more or fewer by touching that. Or the three lines right here, where the hand is on the right side, drag that over, and you see and you see all of them. I'll click fewer. It's the same thing on the left side, with the three lines. It's telling you that there's something hidden. So you can drag that to the right, see all the choices. I click touch fewer. Same thing. You have a another little secret <coughs> that if you touch and hold any of the chart zone or a structure in the middle of this page and hold it. Press and hold, you go to the quick split. So Lawrence is giving you six defaults if you want to quickly find a, a split screen that you prefer. Touch back and you're out of there. Let's touch the settings. You will notice when you touch the settings that you don't see all your settings. So you touch the left side and drag it up and you get to see the vessels in simulator. You can touch and drag it down. If I touch chart, I would have chart choices. Notice the blue line on the on the right side is the same as the blue line on the left side. That's telling you there's more. See at the bottom, there's a little black between the blue and the bottom. I have more choices, so I'm going to touch the right side of the screen and drag it up so I can see the hide chart, waypoint, routes, and trails. And I want to show you one more thing. It's called the cursor assist. It's an interesting uh, tool to help see your finger because you're, when you put your finger on and create a cursor you can't exactly place it so I'm going to make a cursor pressing the screen and if you touch and hold up pops this cursor you will notice that your finger is where my hand is on that screen that little white hand and the actual cursor
cursor is above it so your finger is not in the way and so you could place it exactly on a fish and then create a waypoint press new waypoint and you put the waypoint exactly on it you can do the same thing with the um, chart side take a cursor press and hold and you can place it anywhere you want good tools this uh, touchscreen is really nice and uh, I don't ever want to go back.